Aloha guys. Year after year, achievement after achievement, I swore that my happiness and my fulfillment were waiting for me on the other side. But year after year, achievement after achievement, I could not find them. So time after time, I'd set my sights higher, believing that the achievements were just not big enough yet. And that was why I hadn't found my fulfillment and my happiness. But on that quest, I never found them. On that quest, I eroded and eventually crumbled. I knew for many years that people said all the time, success and money won't make you happy. But that was hard to believe, you know, at least until I myself had multiple successes, fame, money, power, and I still wasn't happy. I actually became more depressed the more success I achieved because time after time my expectation, my hope of fulfillment and happiness was not met. It felt like climbing a mountain and every time I looked up to the summit it seemed like it had moved further out of my reach. Nothing was ever enough. So I crumbled. And that crumbling forced me to question all that I'd ever believed to be true. What if there was no achievement or bundle of achievements that could ever make me happy? What then would be the purpose of work? What then would be the purpose of life? Thus, my next quest began. My current relationship with fulfillment and happiness is such that I will no longer allow myself for any considerable length of time, that is, to look for them anywhere outside of myself. So not in what I do, what I have, what I want, or in my relationships. I try my best to approach all of my relationships from a baseline of, you are not responsible for or capable of making me happy. You owe me nothing. Therefore, I want to be with you purely because I like being around you. I now deeply understand that the nature of all things is that they come and then they go. They're shiny, then they're rusty. They're relevant, and then they're not. This also being the nature of all experiences, all thoughts, all emotions, you name it. The only permanence is impermanence. My definition of success has broadened tremendously. The perspective has shifted from what can I get to what can I give. I try my best to no longer engage in comparison, judging my worthiness based upon how I stack up against John or Jane Doe. Listen, we are all on our own journey and our own timeline. I no longer believe that I, meaning this brain and this body, is the author of what I create. I believe that each and every one of us is a particular window through which the universe expresses and experiences itself. And each window being a slightly different view and each view being of equal importance. When I am able to get my ego out of the way and joyfully surrender to what it is that wants to manifest through me, everything naturally falls into place at its own pace, without friction, without anxiety, without pressure. Now all of these are constant 
practices for me. That when engaged in consistently, I feel a sense of contentment, no matter the inevitable ups and downs of life. No longer will I, for any length of time, search for fulfillment and happiness where it is not located. Over there, when I achieve that thing, when I make that money, when I'm with that person, when I'm away from that person, when I change that person, when that person loves me, when I buy that thing, or when they tell me I'm good enough. Happiness is not over there. Love you guys. Aloha.